solid, please. In close and tight. The particles within the solid cannot move without the whole thing moving. If one particle moves, every part of that solid will move. Casey? Okay, when we, when we talk about a liquid, we've got more room to spread out. So show me the properties of a liquid. Oh, thank you. Moving around. You are retained within a base unit, but you can move around within that. Now can I see a gas? How different is that gas? And back to the back to your seats. Very good. I'm looking for somebody who can tell me something, Kai, about a liquid. How does a liquid behave, Spencer? Um, it speaks as itself, right, but it can't be. Um, it can be retained inside. It's retained inside something, but it spreads out within that container. Okay, what about a gas? Libby? Um, it spreads out, like, out of the container if it was in the container. If, it, if, if you took the lid off, it would spread out. If it, if it was contained in a container with a lid, it would fill the whole of that container, whereas a liquid would only sit at the bottom. Oliver? <coughs> um, it's basically like... Um, in a train, um, in an old-fashioned train, um, gas comes out and it's free. Once, I don't quite see the train analogy, but if, it, if the gas comes out from the exhaust, are we talking? Yeah, like um, a steam train. From the, from, the, yeah. from the funnel, yeah. Then it's into the air and it just fills the space. It just spreads out. Okay, what about a solid? Joe? It don't move. A solid stays confined, which is why... A solid, if it's not too heavy, we can lift up and move around in one piece. It's solid. The ground is solid, I can't lift it up, but it doesn't move. Okay. And it doesn't 